guys, welcome back to Flat Creek Digital, and in today's video, we are going to show you how to make this cute doodle font you see here, um, with the cute little leopard background. We are going to be using Inkscape to make this design, and of course, I will have the link to the download for Inkscape in the description below, including uh, some of the items that I use, like font, um, any backgrounds that I may have the link to, I would have that in the description as well. So make sure to check that out. And let's just get straight to it. I'm going to scroll down here. I have my document uh, page set to 3600 in pixels. Um, doesn't technically matter if you're just designing something, but if you're printing out, of course you would want it in the print size that you would be printing on. So Let's go straight to getting our text. We're going to go over here to our text tool. We're going to click on that. And we're going to start writing horse mama. Because that is what we're going to be using. Now, technically, you don't need to write the whole word mama. You could just do MA and then duplicate. Um, and I may do that some in the video just to show you. But to keep it kind of less confusing, we'll go ahead and just write the whole mama name. All right, now we're going to change our font style. And we're going to do actually two different types of fonts in this video because I would like for my A to be something different. Um, if you can see up here from the picture. It looks a little bit different from the M, okay? It's just two separate fonts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate it. And then we, oh, I closed it out. I'm gonna, you can either get to your, your, your fonts from up here where the little T is, or if you have your box open here, you can go to it here, okay? Now, the fonts that I used is, I think, I'm not sure how you say it, Bri Brianna Black. Let's see if we can find that. Um, you could start typing it in if you wanted to, and that would find the font if you know the name of the font that you're looking for. Okay, here it is here. All right, but that is what my A is going to be, is the Brianna Black. All right, what you're going to do is find that, and you hit Apply. Okay, we're going to get that out of the way. And for the elms, I'm going to use Handler. So we find that, click on it, hit Apply. And now we both have our two separate fonts that we're going to be using in this video. Let me get this out of the way for y'all. And we are going to basically break these apart. And we're going to do that by going, by going up here to Path. So let's we'll start off with this one first. Okay, and we're just going to go up here to Path, we're going to go up here to Object to Path, we're going to right click, and we're going to do Ungroup. Okay, now that just separates all of our letters. We do not need these M's, so we're going to go in here and delete, but we will keep our two A's, okay? Um, we're going to do the same for this one. We're going to go up here to Path, Object to Path, right click, and go to Ungroup. And for this one, we do not need the A, so let's delete them out. All right, now we have our word mama, of course, as you can see here. And we're just going to duplicate this again, because this is going to be one of our uh, little lines here that you see, which is just going to be an outline of our letters. All right, so... Also, we need to duplicate it one more time because this will be the background in the leopard print. All right. Now, we're going to start off with, um, let's start off with our background. Let's do the leopard print first. All right. We're going to pull in our leopard print background. I'm just going to go over here to File and then let me show you again. We're going to go over here to File right here, and we're going to go over here to Import, and you're going to click on Import. 
and it's already going to pull it up because I had it in here, but normally you would have to go try to find your backbone that you would like to use and just double click on it to pull it in. Okay. Now, if you, of course, want to decide if you want the bigger leopard print in the background or if you would like a smaller, more smaller print in the back. And that's just basically sizing your background, okay? I like this right here, so we're going to go with this. And we're just going to duplicate it. Now, like I said before, normally you would just only have to do this twice because you could just do the M and just do the A and then duplicate. But for this video, I'm just going to kind of do it the multiple times just to also be able to, you know, show you better what to do. So going to duplicate it four times. Okay, we're going to grab our letter and we're going to go over here to our layering tools and we're going to place our letter on top. And then we're going to drag and select both of these and we're going to do right click, I mean not right click, right click and then set to clip. Okay, now we have our M. We're going to do the same thing for our A. Bring it to the top, highlight both, right click, and go to set clip. Okay, now we have our A. Now let's do it again just to show you. Like I said, we could just duplicate this if we wanted to to make it easy, but to show you again, we're going to go up here to our layering tools, placing our letter on top of the background. We're going to click right here, just basically in no man's land, click and drag down, highlight both. Right click, go down here to set clip. And now we have our M. And again, we'll do it for our A. Place it on top using our layering tools right here. No man's land, drag down, right click, and set clip. Okay, now we have our cute leopard print background. And let's put that to the side for right now. And let's choose our colors for our mama letters here. And I'm just going to basically pull from the colors I used in this design. So we're just going to click on our M. And, and normally you could choose from these colors. And you can choose any color you would like. But I'm going to go over here to the eyedropper. And I'm going to pick this pink color that I used in the other background. And see, it'll change that to the color that I just chose with our, my eyedropper. Alright, now we're going to go back up here to our selector tool. Okay, and we're going to choose our next letter. And we're going to go back to the eyedropper. And we're going to choose the color that I used in that one. Okay, now I'll show you what I mean. I'm going back up here to the selector tool. But we could just duplicate. We could get rid of these and just duplicate what we need. That way you're not having to constantly go back and forth and change everything. Um, you could have done the same with this, like I said. Okay, now, I want these to have an outline. So, we are going to click on each letter, and we're going to go down here, and we're going to hold Shift, and we're going to choose Black, and that is going to add an outline to our letters, okay? We're just going to go in here and do each one. And again, you could do all of this, then duplicate. That way you have everything already set. You're not having to do it four times. You're only actually having to do it twice. But for this video, to help you learn, I'm going to make sure and do it for each one. Okay, so we're going to go to the next letter. Hold Shift, hit Black. Next letter, hold shift, hit black, okay? Now, this this outline, which is basically called stroke, your stroke in Inkscape, that's a little bit too thick for me. I, I want it to be a little bit smaller. So we're going to drag out our box here. And you could also get it uh, to the same box from up here, which is our fill and stroke tool. We have it here also in our box, fill and stroke. And we're just going to click on that. And you have different tabs here for your fill, your stroke, and your stroke style. 
what you're going to do is go to stroke style and right here we're going to change the width of our stroke i'm going to change it to one and see how i like that and this one let's try two um that might be okay i can't remember what we used there let's send that one more let's try three Okay, yes, I like that. Okay, so basically you're just going to click on each letter. You're going to make sure that you're here in stroke style, and you're going to change it to 3. Now you may have to change it to something else on yours, or you may like it to be thick like that. It's completely up to you. There is no right or wrong. Alright, now we have our outline for those letters. In here, we're going to basically turn these into just an outline. So we get this cute little doodle effect that you see, okay? Now, to do that, you're just going to click on that letter. And you're going to go back down here again, and we're going to turn on our stroke by holding shift and hitting black. And then we're going to hit this X right here to get rid of our fill, okay? And again, the stroke is too large, so we're going to go back up here to our stroke style, and I think it's two when it, it, it does it about the same size as this is at a three because of the color fill, it makes it a little thinner. So this is great. Two is good. And we could just bring it over here and bring it in some, make it a little smaller. And you just basically do that by clicking on one of these arrows and holding down shift and control and just pulling in and out with your mouse. Okay. All right now that I got it the size that I want, I'm going to click on it again to get my rotating arrows. And we're just going to rotate it just a tad to give it more of that doodle effect. Okay. And I think in this one, I actually did three of them. Um, that's completely up to you. You could duplicate that and you could bring that one in some and twist it the opposite way to give it a more, again, of a doodle effect. Alright? And that's completely up to you. You could do one stroke on there, you can do multiple. It just however you want it to look. And oh, I grabbed it by mistake. Anytime you do something by mistake, you can just go back up here to your undo uh, little buttons here, okay? Now we're going to do the same for our A. And we're going to give it a stroke by holding shift, hitting black, and hitting the X to get rid of the fill. Going up here and changing our size of our stroke style to 2. And bringing it over our A. And just making it a tad bit smaller and clicking on it again to get our rotating tools and just tilt it just a little bit okay now again we could go through and do each one if you wanted to or you could just once you get it the way you want we can delete these out of course help if I actually hit the delete button and we could group this together okay you're just going to highlight everything and group group this together let's zoom in so we can see what we're doing group this one together and hit group okay this is basically now that we got it one more and we can duplicate both of these and now we have two of them and we don't have to sit there and do that to each letter but I will show you one more time. You're just going to click on these. You're going to go down here, turn on your stroke by holding shift, hitting the color, and hitting your X to get rid of the fill. And going back up here and changing your stroke style to 2. Okay? That's all you do to get those cute little uh, doodle lines. Okay? And now that we have that, I actually just got me a... Uh, pen tablet so I'm going to use the pen tablet to make the little heart in here for the A 
Um, I just got this, so I'm got I'm trying to get used to it myself. So let's see. Let's go here, and I'm just gonna try and get over here so I can get my heart. Okay, that's pretty good. Normally it takes me a couple of times. I gotta get used to this little doodle pen, but that's pretty good. All right, now that I have that, now you could get any little doodle heart uh, from uh, any any program, not program, but website will have like a free SVG heart. You know, you just have to look for it, or you can try making one yourself. All right, so now that we have that, I'm just going to, let's see, we want to fill it the pink color that has the M. So let's choose that. And we're going to go over here to the M and fill it. And there you go. And let's make it a little smaller. Bring it up here to our A. And I think I need to make my stroke. Ah, there we go. I love that. Okay. So that looks great. Now we're going to get over here and we're going to pull in our cute leopard print. And just start placing it behind the letters, you know, a little off to the side. And we're using our layering tools to place it behind the letters. Again, if it wasn't behind, uh, behind the letter on top, it, you can just go up here and hit it behind. And we're going to just drag each one in. Having it to the side ever so slightly to give it that just cute dimensional effect. Oh, and I need to duplicate my heart here and place it over here in our other A. And there you go. Super cute doodle font with the leopard print behind it. Looks really cute. Um, you can go in and group each one once you have it the way you like okay and now that we have everything grouped we can highlight it select everything and go up here to our alignment tool and make sure it says last selected and we can just kind of level them up some make them make them perfect aligned but there you go that's how it turns out super cute and super easy to make i hope you enjoyed the video oh once you have it all lined up you can go back to undo just want to highlight everything and you can group that together once you have it the way you want there you go super cute and super easy doodle font i hope you enjoyed this video um, please remember to like and subscribe it just helps me grow and hopefully i'll be able to keep making videos like this and i really appreciate it and thank y'all